Hi all, we're going to continue with our Cisco iOS Router Labs and today we're going to talk about HSRP. Now, HSRP is the hot standby router protocol. It's a Cisco proprietary protocol that provides first hop redundancy. So in our topology here we have an internal segment 101010 10, 10, and the PC connecting to a switch which connects to two uh, edge routers. This is where we're going to run the HSRP. Uh, they connect down to a, another switch which has a connection to a WAN router. There's a serial connection to another site with a server we can uh, test to. Okay, so again the HSRP will be run here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to run two um, HSRP instances here. Um, we're going to run one between the two ingress interfaces and one between the two egress interfaces. So again on the ingress side to provide the first hop availability, right? So if your default gateway is dot two all the time, the edge router, and that edge router is gone, and um, the default gateway on PC one obviously isn't going to dynamically change, right? So we can put dot two and dot three routers in HSRP on these interfaces and have them share this virtual IP here. So the default gateway always points to ten 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 one, and then regardless of who's uh, the active router here, it's going to respond to this. Um, I'm running HSRP on the egress side, <clears throat> mostly for the return routing, right? So Travis is going to go hit the WAN uh, out, to, out to the remote site. It's going to come back. And then this guy's going to point to where? If he points to dot two all the time on the 202020 20 subnet, and this router goes down, then traffic's dead, right? So again, we're going to run an HSRP instance on the egress side using this virtual IP so that regardless of who holds it, he can forward the packets, right? Okay, let's get started. We'll start in the edge one router here. And this is done per interface. So this is our ingress site on the 10.10.10. .10 .10. Commands you need to enter our standby and then the group number. We'll use group number one on the ingress side and we'll put group number two on the egress interfaces. <clears throat> so standby one, um, IP, and then the IP that you want to uh, have for HSRP, IP, the virtual IP. Uh, I'm just going to do some up arrows instead of typing standby one over and over again. So for the one group, we want to change the, the default priority is um, 100. I want to change the priority. To 110 for the edge one router because I the higher the priority the more preferred so I want uh, the uh, edge router to be edge one router to be um, you know active in the case that both um, uh, routers are are healthy I want edge one to be the active one um, I'm gonna change the <clears throat> oh I'm gonna I'm gonna add the preempt command so that he'll always become active you know, be, the one with the higher priority is going to become active right away. It's not going to wait for, uh, you know, another fail back or anything. It's just going to preempt back to being the active router. Um, we're going to track. I'm going to do, uh, oh, sorry, just stand by one. Um, and we're going to track the egress interface. So we're going to track F01. And then we're going to decrement the priority by 15. So from 110, it's going to go to 95. Because, again, his def he's going to stay the default priority, which is 100. So it'll be five less than the other router, right? Um, and then we'll just change the timers to make it a little faster. Um, three seconds is how often um, the hellos go, time between hellos. And then we'll do nine seconds for the, the hold down timer, right? So that's it for the ingress site on edge one. We'll just go over to edge two and finish it there. We'll leave the priority, what we'll do preempt. Um, timers three and nine. And again, we're going to uh, track F01. Okay, I think I got everything in there. So back here, we want to do, um, we go to the egress interface now. We'll do a standby two. So it's another standby group now, and this is between the egress interfaces on the two routers. Um, the IP here is going to be. 2021. <clears throat> Again, we're going to set the priority oh, sorry, no IP in there, right? Priority, yeah, 110. We want it to preempt. We want it to uh, timers to be 3 and 9 and we want to track and here we're going to track F00, the ingress interface. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, I want to decrement by 15, okay? Um, okay, that's it. 
Just have a look. I'm not sure if I put two tracks in there, one with the decrement and one without. I was smart enough to know. That's good. Um, so we'll just do the indef 0, 1 over here on edge 2. Standby group 2. And then we'll do, uh, we'll leave the priority again, but we'll do a preempt. <coughs> we'll do timers. We'll do a track. Uh, the ingress interface. Uh, leaving the default priority. I think we got everything there. Okay, <clears throat> so a couple of show commands. You can do a show um, standby. Um, you can do standby brief. Show standby brief. Just enter there. <clears throat> so you can see we're uh, we're the active for both instances right now. We're active um, on F00 and F01. It's group two on the egress interface. Group one on the ingress interface. Uh, the standby IP is dot three for both subnets, which means is uh, uh, dot three right on both instances. Edge two is the standby router, and the virtuals uh, dot one on both subnets. Um, you can also do a show standby, and you can put in the interface F zero zero. So the group one on F zero zero, the state is active. Um, virtual IP again ten 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 one. The virtual MAC, the how long to go in the uh, the hello and the hold down. Um, preemption is enabled. Uh, the standby router again is dot three, which is edge two. The priority is one hundred on edge two. Um, our track object, the state is up, and we're going to decrement by fifteen if we lose that track. Um, same couple of commands over here. You can do show stand by brief, and so he's just giving you the same info, but he's giving you the reverse, telling you that the uh, the active guy is the ten 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 two twenty 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 two, which is the reels on edge one. Um, the priority is 100. Uh, for our guy here, right on the standby side, because the priority on edge one over here is 110. Um, it's configured 110, and it is 110 currently, so it's not failed or anything. Okay, so let me show you this. If we do, um, well, if we do this first off, we should be able to telnet to uh, server one over there. Took a while to bring up the WAN connection and all, but we're connected to server one. You can see, right? <clears throat> okay, so if we come over to um, edge one, we go into int f zero one. That's the egress interface over here, right? If we do a shut, see how fast that changes, right? We can do a show um, standby brief. You can see now speak. So next after speak, he goes into standby. There you go. Is that standby? And the other interface is trying to initialize this down, right? And then over in Edge 2, show standby brief. You can see that it's active. The, uh, the router is active. So we've the whole thing's failed over, right? So now we should still be able to tell that to this guy. But he's going through the, uh, the alternate path, right? Hmm, we're there. We'll quit out of there again. We'll come back here. We'll do a no shot. And then this should come back to um, show standby brief. See, it's come back to active already because we're preempting back, right? So that's beautiful. Um, we can also do, you know, we can go to the the ingress interface, <clears throat> excuse me, and shut that one down. And the same thing should happen. The whole thing should fail for us. So he's he's going down, and over here, see, he's active for both instances for group one and group two. So the whole thing is is failed over. And again, uh, we should be able to down it over here and sure enough we're at server one everything works fine right so for this direction uh it doesn't matter who's who you know who's active he's taking the 10 10 10 1 our default gateway on pc1 is 10 10 10 1 and it doesn't matter which device uh is up is always going to work and again we're, we're doing the preempt uh we're doing the uh standby uh or hsrp on the egress side for the return traffic right because if you had a static route here saying to get back to 10 10 10 go here when this went down, it would never work. So we're pointing for reply traffic to the virtual 2020.1, and everything works seamlessly, no matter which router is, uh, you know, regardless of which router is up or down or what. Um, so that's HSRP in a nutshell. There are, you know, there are a few other things you can do with it, but uh, yeah, those are the basics. Um, I don't know if you need more info, have any questions about it, leave me a message on YouTube, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.